All right, guys. So has been some time, I know. Um, but yeah, just quickly, um, I wanted to show you um, class I've written in the stream last time. It's just a simple graph class, um, similar to the audio visualizer component from Juice. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's just simpler. It doesn't have um, some things that I'll get to talk later. Um, but yeah, uh, just uh, for now, uh, I'll have some questions here. <laughs> um, so I've been thinking about making these videos um, and it's going to get tough um, because sometimes it's going to get into um, some of the well, DSP stuff and I haven't really gotten into that yet. Um, so I'll need some help probably. Um, if you have any good sources, please link me them. Um, because like I cannot find anything really <laughs> other than music DSP or org or whatever um, it's quite tough to get some stuff working like just some re uh, simple reverb or delay um, and you know I want to get into this uh, into this stuff and maybe even modify some algorithms but yeah uh, let me know but for now I think I'll just you know keep some videos here, um, work on some things that I'm uh, sort of interested in, not really DSP focused yet, just, you know, working with the juice, um, library. So, uh, this is how it looks right now, uh, or what we'll get out of the graph class. Be aware, this might be loud. <laughs> So it sort of just draws the sine wave that we put into the buffer. Um, now, <laughs> already into some of the problems. Um, we have to manually sort of specify uh, how many samples we actually want to draw. So I think I have a for loop here somewhere. I add to the get width. So we put in everything into the um, array, so all the information of the buffer goes into the array, um, but we only take a certain amount of the array here. Um, here levels is the array that we put in all the information. So we only go until like the width of the whole component we have specified and um, resized. So it's really not that good, um, and some stuff like here amplitude to actually make it um, show up better in the small screen. Um, well, some width stuff. Uh, well, the height is well. You know, a lot of manual stuff. Um, we could make this a lot better, but uh, this is just really to show you guys um, how simple. It, actually is to do something with the buffer information um, and similar to the uh, audio visualizer component I have some things like set colors as well um, colors uh, gray and crimson I don't know So yeah, looks better, or you can really just modify it. So, um, just to quickly show you, this is how the audio visualizer um, outputs data. Uh, it actually also, you know, has um, either stereo or mono output. Why does it not work? Uh, here. So right now I have uh, stereo output because I'm on headphones. Um, and 
and this is how it looks. You know, we get two channel information. Um, just last time in the stream, I actually tried getting just some mono information out. That also works perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, that's it. Let's just quickly go over the graph here. This document here. Okay, so component and timer, really similar to the other class. Um, some own methods, just push buffer, set colors, set repaint rate. Um, so push buffer is really the important part here. This is just modification. Repaint rate is um, just some setter for the timer. Um, then some overriders, since we have a component class here, uh, it needs a paint method, or, yeah. Then a timer callback from the timer class, where we just really set the paint method on a set time. Okay, so then also important, the array of, well, float. Um, just call it levels and some standard colors. So then, uh, here I set some normal stuff for the timer and the component. And the push buffer, I just... Uh, now, um, the audio visualizer component actually has some overloads. No, yeah, some overloads on the push buffer. And it also has a uh, push sample, which could also be uh, useful for some people. I just like to push buffer since it's actually the easiest to me. Um, so yeah, we just set the uh, this array to a new array uh, that starts, um, no, no, no. So if we would go for this as well, let's just see what sort of information we have or it requires. So, um, cuttings type to recreate from. Yeah, so expect a, a read, well, a, uh, an array that's only read that's read only, so const, and some um, int num values, yeah, so how many values that are actually in it. Sure, it will work like this as well. Um, and then the read pointer here, you know, we have some options. We actually just choose the channel zero, and then a start sample from the audio source channel. And that's really it. Um, so you sort of have to understand what we actually get here. And it's just the Y values that go from minus one to one. And yeah, <clears throat> because of that, we need an amplitude to, um, because otherwise then we would only have a range of minus one to one and it, we wouldn't really see it, you know, if we try out, um, so the amplitude is a really important part here. We'll see that it doesn't really move at all. Oh, well, that's the audio visualizer. Uh, just quickly. Okay, hopefully this doesn't crash. Yeah. So you'll see it's a little bit, it changes. Oops. Um, but yeah, because of the amplitude, the each of the blocks here, um, so the, each of the erects is actually moving upwards or downwards a lot faster. So if we make it increase it, you know, it would go uh, insanely high really quickly. Well, so that's it. Um, so we have a fill all which is the background color and then a set color for all of these rectangles to be filled in uh, with the waveform color that's defined and well some height um, where we actually start in oops uh, which we have here and then the width as well which is just the same for both width and height. Well, the important thing is here, I times right width. So 
um, we just we go from i to however big our um, component is and then we move up by the rect width I guess this is not perfect because it's going to draw it outside of the window as well um, well I didn't really know how to make it better uh, I'm sure the audio visualizer component does make it better um, so then height that's where we start so in half of the white height and then plus well minus this is because um, you know the way we draw it so we would get positive information um, from the sine wave but actually when we draw it you know it's positive and plus would actually mean that we would draw it um, downwards going so we just uh, well make it negative here so that's so that it's actually the right way you know because otherwise the sine wave would just be presented wrong um, well this is just because the way uh, windows are being drawn from top left to the bottom right so this is obviously not a sine wave um, well I could just make it minus here I guess um, okay here so it, you know you can kind of see what it actually does um, so what we do here is just from each of the uh, from this array we get each unchecked at i uh, which is this from the for loop times the amplitude so that's all that's in the y information of the fill right and yeah that's pretty much it um, very simple you know you can enhance it <laughs> make it better even have some I don't know some uh, checks for the window and such but yeah let me know what you think um, also about the streaming I'm, I'm not really sure how long I'll continue that um, yeah I'm, I'm still really unsure about doing the DSP stuff but yeah let me know Whoop.